State Senator Patricia Van Pelt, and I'm here to support the seniors in this building and here in college, and also all the home care workers all over the state. You know, the governor is trying to change the name of the program from community care program to community reinvestment program. But it doesn't matter if you change the name if you're still snatching the services and the, and the, and the floor from underneath our city. Seniors. You know that's right. Our seniors have paid their price. Yes. They have. They, yes, they've yes. done their part. They yes. served. They've carried. They served. They carried. They've given it. They've gotten us to where we are now. That's right. You know, if we ignore the plight of our seniors, we ignore our. our we actually ignore our own future. Yes. And our are. present. Because if we force seniors into the uh, back into the nursing homes, they up into the nursing homes, it's going to cost the state a whole lot of money. Oh, so not only will we be raising the amount of expenses that we have, because they will have to go into a nursing home, but we're going to swell the unemployment rate. But with people who would love to help, just give their lives to help poor and in need. These are these are special people that work as uh, child care workers. They're giving their life. They're not making that much money. But right. They give their lives to serve people who are in need. Yes. So I'm here to say, you know, as a state senator, we have sent 18 budgets to the government, pieces of the budget, giving him a chance to make a decision about what he wants to uh, let live and what he wants to let die. And he, he has not signed any of those budgets. He's, he's vetoed all of them except for the school budget. So we're sending again to him about our community care program. Yes. That we cannot and will not accept any deal that cuts out the seniors oh, yeah. in our district. Yeah. 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 I know that's right. Cut out our seniors. We yes. are costing ourselves hundreds of millions of dollars, that's and we right. are not fulfilling the, the primary obligation of yes. the government, and that is to care for the most vulnerable, the, the poor, and those that are in need. So I'm just here to say I'm 100% behind the community care workers, and 1,000% behind the seniors. All That's right. it.